In the current phase of AI evolution, text, images and videos can be generated with just a few words and lots of imagination. One such avenue for generating aesthetically pleasing and detailed images or text effects is Adobe Firefly. AI-powered media generation has taken the world by storm and there are so many tools to choose from. This definitely pushes big players such as Adobe to come up with in-house generative AI capabilities. And the result? Firefly. So what is Adobe Firefly? Firefly is Adobe's generative AI tool with primary focus on image and text effects generation. According to Adobe's website, Firefly will offer new ways to ideate, create and communicate while significantly improving creative workflows. The platform is currently in its beta phase and more developments in the space of illustration, artwork, graphic design, video and 3D modeling are expected. Now moving on to the obvious questions. How can you access Firefly and how to use it? To access Adobe Firefly, simply type in firefly.adobe.com and sign in with your Adobe account. Upon logging in, you will be shown the Adobe Firefly beta homepage. The tool allows users to try out text-to-image, generative fill, text effects, and generative recolor features. The other capabilities like 3D to image and extend image are still in exploration stages as displayed by Adobe. Let's try out the text to image feature. Click on generate to access this feature and the tool takes you to the prompt screen that looks like this. On the top right corner, you have the text to image information icon and clicking on it explains what the feature does. The glass beaker icon on the extreme right corner of the screen allows users to submit an idea, report a bug, visit the beta community and join the Discord server. Now let's try some prompts out. Here are the results. The tool generates four different outputs for a single prompt. This allows you to choose the best option. On the right hand side, you have multiple drop down menu options which lets you choose the aspect ratio, content type, styles, materials, color and tone, lighting and composition. Let's try some of these out. What stands out with Firefly is how you can enter simple prompts and try different editing options with styling, lighting, coloring and composition once the images have been generated. Unlike some tools that require you to type in the technical requirements of the exact output you are looking for. This helps users that utilize images extensively but aren't technically proficient to obtain the desired output. Even though text-to-image conversion feature looks promising, the other features on Firefly seem lukewarm. For example, with the generative fill feature, when I prompted the Louvre Museum to be replaced as the background in this image, I was expecting the iconic pyramid structure, and the results did not display that. So is this feature of text effects. I wouldn't exactly call those things bubbles. But certain textiles are definitely better than others. The generative recolor seems like a fun feature which allows you to change the color palette of SVG files. But upon trying this feature, the results were moderately satisfactory and in certain cases, the results were taking quite a while to be displayed. Well, that's Firefly in a nutshell. A great tool for generating images from text, but the other capabilities still need lots of work. Now all we've got to do is sit tight and wait for the release of a fully functional Adobe Firefly.